for 7 First Alert Weather. Good morning once again. Welcome to our Saturday morning show on this kind of a frosty December morning. These December days have been awfully mild, haven't they? But the nights and mornings are rather cool. And this morning we've got areas of dense fog to contend with in parts of the valley once again. So we are live at the Fred Meyer store at Franklin and Orchard in Boise because today kicks off Stuff the Bus, our annual campaign for toys for kids distributed through the Salvation Army. And thanks to Valley Regional Transit for providing these buses to stuff. We'll be talking more about this in just a few minutes. But first of all, let's look at the weather. Right now, we had a beautiful sunrise to start with, a little bit misty and a little bit uh, hazy, but especially in the lower Treasure Valley where dense fog is still covering many locations. Temperatures in the upper 20s and low 30s in most areas this morning will give way to 50s. The sun comes out this afternoon, especially in the upper Treasure Valley. Elsewhere, current temperatures across southwest Idaho, mainly in the 20s and 30s, mountain valleys almost as warm as the valley locations uh, down below, and especially in the afternoon where temperatures in these inversions have been actually as warm or warmer at higher elevation. Visibility, though, suffering in the western Treasure Valley down to a quarter mile or less because of areas of dense fog. That's going to hang on throughout the morning, and by the time it burns off, it will only allow temperatures to warm up into the 40s in the lower Treasure Valley today. Uh, Storm Tracker is showing that we do have a dense fog advisory out for the lower Treasure Valley and the Weezer area until 1 o'clock and then improving with some sunshine through the rest of the afternoon. The rest of the region, air stagnation advisories until 11 o'clock tonight. And that includes the Treasure Valley, the western valleys of the western mountain areas, and also the eastern portion of Oregon. Things will improve later on tonight as a cold front up north drops by. And on the satellite picture, you can see that band of clouds. It'll start sagging southward. It's a fairly weak cold front, but enough to start generating some wind, stir up the air, and stir up the uh, inversions a little bit late tonight through tomorrow morning. There could be some mountain snow showers in the valleys, probably dry, but breezy at times, getting rig rid of the fog, but moving clouds in. Those will clear up by tomorrow morning. We'll be looking at colder but dry conditions on Sunday and rather breezy conditions in the afternoon. On Monday, we have another storm coming in, so December weather. And we're looking at temperatures that will be mainly warming up into the upper 50s once again this afternoon. For the uh, mountain areas, looking at 50s this afternoon, uh, West Central Mountains in the 40s, and for the Western Treasure Valley, staying in the 40s because of the fog, and then looking at temperatures that will be mainly into the uh, 40s this afternoon, Upper Treasure Valley into the 50s this afternoon. Seven day forecast is showing that temperatures will be mainly in the 50s today, but cooling off to the 40s tomorrow. We get that shot of some snow in the morning on Monday, could be up to an inch in some locations, and then turning back to rain Monday afternoon. That cold front will introduce a much colder December pattern with some areas of rain and snow in the mountain areas off and on through the week. In the valley locations, it'll be starting turning cold enough for a little bit of snow off and on with some snow showers on into the end of the week as well.